Hello everybody and welcome back to Highland Homestead. My name is Amanda. My husband Carl and I run this homestead together. We are off the grid. We've been off the grid for just over two years now. Things you might find on our channel are just anything that pertains to living off the grid. Water, maybe what we do for electricity, how we cook, what animals do we have, how do we care for those animals, walk and talks in our beautiful acreage that we have. Making things good, but making them simpler or more affordable to do. Today I will be showing you how we do our dishes off the grid. We don't have running water, so it's a bit, uh, it's a bit more arm work to do the dishes when you don't have running water. But we've done it this way for two solid years and I would be just fine if it stayed that way. I'm going to show you like how we start the process of starting to do the dishes and then talk about the rest of it because my daughters help with the dishes and we're not filming our kids and putting them on the internet so I won't I won't be showing any of us like doing the dishes or the process of that part anyway. It is a beautiful morning. I think it I actually don't know. I think it's in the 60s. The fall colors are they're almost in full swing. My favorite time to take family pictures, which will be happening soon, is in the fall. The colors are beautiful. Or the winter. Winter is my favorite season. I love the cold. I do not like the warmth, unless it's coming from that wood stove over there. I don't, <laughs> I don't particularly like the warmth. If I could be in winter like nine months out of the year and then three months out of the year, it's in like the 60s, I would be golden. I. I love everything about winter. I love all the, the heartier foods. I love the cold weather. I love using our wood stove. I love cooking over coals, which is really not fun to do when it's over 100 degrees outside where we are. But the goal is Alaska, so I'll have more of that when we, when we reach our goal. But slow and steady. Slow and steady. We'll get there. Slow and steady. Now let's get to showing how we do our dishes here off the grid on Highland Homestead. So the first thing we gotta do is heat up our water using our water heater. That's one complicated looking water heater. You think so? Well, I don't see any like easy push button on it, so how do you do that? <laughs> so typically I will start heating the water 30 minutes to an hour before I know I have to do the dishes. If it goes a bit longer, I just get hotter water. It works. This is nice and hot. So this is our sink setup, complimentary with our fly trap. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, who doesn't want to look at well, some people have dead flies straight in their face as they're doing the dishes? Some people have flowers on their windowsill next to their sink. We've got fly traps with dead flies. We got this sink for free from our friends. Now, I can't remember if we got it for free or if we bartered your work for it. I don't remember. It was one of the two. But it's got one sink, which kind of stinks. I wish it had two sinks because we've got to use this plastic uh, bucket for rinsing. This is where we set the dishes. We dry everything we can while the girls dry everything that can get dried. And if you come down here, we have the plumbing that goes straight down into a five gallon bucket. This is kind of, it's kind of handy that it does this actually. Mm -hmm. It's easier to get the bucket out. Is this ideal? It'd be nice if this if I could drain the water straight outside. It doesn't bother me that we don't have running water coming in here, but if I could just drain it outside, that would be nice. And then since the water that comes off of the water heater <laughs> over there is really hot, we do go ahead and mix it with uh, cooler water, which has to be lifted and poured into the sink. Let's get filling this sink up. Let's do it. Like you said, you're just going to have to add some cool water to it. It's the steam coming up that's really hot. Oops, I forgot to put this up. That drain don't work very well. Can you tell this has been used on a fire? 
you can definitely tell that's been used on a fire <laughs> several times. That's how we do the dishes here on our off-grid homestead. <laughs> We're not going to show you any more than that because, like I said, our girls help out with the rest of the... They help out with doing the dishes, so we're not going to show them. Um, and it's just doing dishes. It's just doing dishes. Like, if you don't know how to wash dishes, you've got a problem. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you trying to say that they're probably living under a rock? Something like I mean, somebody else does their dishes. It's different when you want to know how somebody in an off grid situation does dishes, but you're not asking about what like scrubbing dishes down. Yeah, you're it's not, like your you're not looking setup. for what instructions. For like, like, can you teach me how to do that? I don't know. Maybe there's somebody out there who's gonna watch and be like, Oh my gosh, now I finally know how to actually do those. They've been piling up for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic, right? Stop with the faces. Well, you know, <laughs> I mean, why, why not just put the dirty dishes in the stock pot and let the stove boil the boil them kind of like one of those what do you call them one oh you know what works really good like, like on the on the pot that i use for rice mm -hmm. if i don't get to washing it right away if i put water in it and i heat that on the stove it like softens all the like hardened rice and it makes it really easy to wash that's pretty much how it is folks and just we're not starting out but maybe you might be starting out you know maybe you might be going to a, a property that you're gonna have a little cabin started up you don't have any amenities from the mm -hmm. utility company you're doing it all yourself so that might be one way that you are the utility company <laughs> and the best part is you don't have to pay yourself you know that's really the best part about being your own utility company is it does take a lot of work it's it's all your own labor mm -hmm. for everything that you have to do for daily living but you're not paying your hard-earned dollars to to somebody else you know you're not trading your your time for amenities plus the huge benefit to taking care of all that stuff yourself is you know it's really kind of a life skill I mean you know how to take care of your own self what better what better thing is there than that I mean we should all want to be able to learn how to take care of ourselves all right folks looks like that's gonna do it give a like subscribe and look for more daily videos and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time, time.